Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, we're going to continue our JavaScripting for Beginners series. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at game message dot set item choice, and that's to simulate the game's uh, select item function. So when you use this button, it's going to ask you for a variable, and what this variable is going to do is uh, store the item that the player selects. So if we're selecting item number one, then it's going to store it into variable whatever item we want. The second option we have is item type. So item type one is regular items, item type two is key items, three is hidden items A, and four is hidden items B. Um, so we select a variable, we select the type of items we want to look at, and then depending on what number we put in is uh, where it's going to store. So in this example, we have dollar sign game capital M on message dot set capital I on item capital C on choice. We're selecting variable number 15 and we're saying it's going to be a regular item. So let's take a look at that in game and what it'll do. Alright, so we see some writing, but it's too small to read. What can we use? Basically that um, select item is bringing up an uh, item box that lets you pick from what item you want to use on, on the current event. So the, probably we'd want to use the magnifying glass. Now there's nothing else in the event, so that's not going to do anything besides change a variable. But let's check in the debug menu if it actually changed that variable. If I remember correctly, uh, the magnifying glass is item number one in the database. So it should have changed variable number 15 to one, and it did. So that's pretty much it. Let's double check to see if that's working correctly. Magnifying glass is item number one, so that's storing that in item number one. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys like this very short tutorial on JavaScripting and we're going to uh, continue to go down the list of things and select random ones but kind of pick most of them one at a time uh, and figure out how to, to uh, code in JavaScript the engine's built-in functions. Now it's important to note that you want to distinguish when you want to use the engine's built-in uh, button and when you want to do a script call. Most of the time you'd want to use the game engine's built-in function for this but it's not a bad idea to know how to do it. So if you like this tutorial, please like, favorite, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. If you have a special request or something you'd like to see done uh, or a function you'd like to see in JavaScript push forward so that we can do it sooner, um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being awesome. We will see you in the next tutorial.